August to 28th of August 2009. Mm. He's 19 and now knocking everybody out. <laughs> and I thought you could have won that. Do you want to know something? Yeah. And, uh, and then he said, to him, if I'd have trained anyway, like like I've trained, no disrespect to who was training me because it was it was me. I knew I were training. Yeah. I went to gym and I was leaving gym sometimes when I wasn't even tired. And I knew I could have put some more into it, but I wasn't bothered about boxing no more. Yeah. Uh, it weren't the money either because they were getting nothing for them fights. Them fights were nothing in them in, in the Tavoy's Club fight. Uh, and in the fight itself, I thought after about two or three rounds, I thought this is going to be easy. Yeah. But there were no in me. I can remember throwing my shots. And they were not in the shots, mm -hmm. um, and he could whack. Jesus Christ! I know I said that um, Clemenson was the biggest puncher. Yeah. But Tavares Cloud could whack. Were he the biggest puncher you've ever been in with? All the Clemenson. Clemenson, oh yeah, he could whack. Yeah. Like, he was like a flipping mule in you. Yeah. Uh, but Tavares Cloud hit me one of the rounds. He was quite funny. Like, Where's that funny? But if you watch it on the video, it is because yeah. he catches me a big, massive left hook, and as he catches me, it hurt when it hurts you. And I used to, if you ever want to watch me when I when I get caught sometimes, I used to go. And I waved him off and he caught me, he caught me with the same book again. And then Bell went. And then I walked back to the corner and I could just see about five people in front of me. And it's the first time I've ever been like that. I've been knocked down in fights, but... You mean like blurred vision? Yeah, it's blurred and I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. What's going on here? Yeah, and they're like, fucking hell, Jesus, just move now. Just want to move on. Who were in the corner then? Glim Rhodes and Dennis and... Do we move, just move now, just move. Uh, and obviously then I went out, and then I think it won. I, I don't know if, if the scoring, what the scoring were. But I might have left, won the next two rounds. Yeah. Because I felt fresh, and he, he'd gone. After the fight, God, I went back to change room, and I was so relieved. Other than having shit going out my ear, because yeah. my eardrum had, bur had burst, and, I, and little to us knowing we had an infection behind it, so yeah. all this brown shit going out my ear. And the battle buzzing, I'm like, thank God, at last. So we need to tub all his clouds and change him to come dress late him. And he sat on the floor like that. So I went, God, what's up with you, world champion? And his his uh his man his trainer went, God damn man, you're all one tough motherfucker. He true. went, look what you done to my baby. <laughs> I went, what is up he went? And he said he said to me, he says, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have gone one more round he was that knackered. Yeah, well he collapsed, didn't he, apparently? That's he what we were all that saying. Time, yeah. He was that time. I always think, oh my god, I wish I'd have gone through them last two rounds. Yeah. But <laughs> it's gone. But I went back But you're pretty happy to go lucky about it. It don't phase you that much, does no, it? You no, well, do you, Clinton? Mean, but when I, I was so, after the fight, I was like, Jesus, gone. Mm. Finished. I've had enough. And you've never, like, you've never wanted to fight since no, then? No. No, obviously, you moved on. I don't go to shows, boxing shows, because when I go to box shows, uh, I'm not going to say depressed, because. That's the word what everybody uses these days. Yeah. When I go to shows, I felt as though I just, just didn't feel right. Mm. Um, so that, that everybody says to me, "Good, that looked miserable." Twat over there, boxing show. I just don't enjoy, don't enjoy it. It's maybe because I've spent that many time years in the ring. Yeah. Watching it, it's just so I packed all. I, I was training pros at one time, but packed all that in. You trained Liam, didn't you, for a bit? Cameron, yeah, didn't yeah. You? Liam yep. and a couple Cameron. of us, Cameron. Yeah. yeah. Well, what other ones you trained? Uh, I train about about five or six to come and go. Um, do you train any pros now, Clinton? No, no. Are you not bothered no, about No, it? I had one who was, who, his last fight in one central area. Um, but he's packed in, he don't want to fight no more. Do you not train pros, Clinton, because you don't see them train as hard as what you did? The first, the first lot, what I had, yeah. yeah. I wanted to be a trainer. I didn't want to be a fucking life coach. I didn't want to be yeah. following up saying some of the stuff, excuses that they were, they were using for not going to gym. Were like, you're putting a, com you're putting a comic book. Um, well, why they were telling you they weren't going to come? Can't Obviously come we're today, not saying can't today because I've dropped fucking butter on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just... Yeah. I, mm. So, I, I, but I didn't enjoy it anyway. I didn't enjoy pro training. Yeah. Um, I would never, I, I would, it's like now I don't really watch that much boxing, mm. uh, I'm not a big fan of boxing, but I like watching the big, some big fights, yeah. uh, I don't think it's got a bit too circus, too circus now, I yeah. mean, I used to like watching your Mike Tyson get in ring, walking in ring with his little white shorts, welcome to the terrible music and, and all then, that, yeah, and yeah. then like Lennox Lewis walking in, look at you, now they're getting in, they're loving each other at press conferences and it's all a big cabaret, yeah. I know it's, 
it's what boxing is now. It's it's um, it's entertainment. Yeah, yeah. I know it's entertainment. It's always been entertainment, but I just think it's lost that bit of nastiness. Uh, bit of nastiness. Mm. I know they these handbags at dawn sometimes at these press conferences and. If they hate him that much, after a fight they hate him. Yeah. And then after a fight they're like loving him and it's like, kitching. You've you've you not know, obviously had rivalries with people, but and have you still had the rivalry afterwards? You never loved you got you never wanted to go out for a pint with him and all that, did you? Yeah, not really, but when I fought someone that rip, yeah. they really because they've got me whose boxes have you got in, in your phone book? I went, none. So I don't know if, if I don't ring them, they don't ring me. Yeah. I talked to Glim Rhodes about it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, obviously, from your era, you you fought from Roy Jones up to Cloud. You fought in a really the the best light heavyweight era. Yeah, uh, and you're at record books for one of three people who's held a world title over three years. I think there's you, the, an IBF, but um, Roy Jones, and I think there's another an, there's another one. So, how do you feel about that? Are you happy about what you achieved? When I look back, I don't really, I don't really think about that. But yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what I achieved. When I look in British books, sometimes British, I'm trying to find out who's the um, who's won most defences at light heavyweight. Yeah, and I thought it was me. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Dennis Andrews. I think yeah. Dennis Andrews had more yeah. will yeah, title fights. Yeah. Dennis Andrews, yeah. He had a lot. Of, he was a tough guy. He was a tough mm. guy. But yeah. what you achieved and fighting in that era as well, where. It were tough men and were everybody tough. came to fight. There were none of this, you know, group hugs on Twitter and all this. There were none of that. I don't, then. I don't get all that. I don't get no. all that. So I, I think you should take a pat on back for what you've done and and I think you should be in Hall of Fame, Clinton, me. But that don't bother you, does it? Stuff like that, does it? Yeah, I'd love if, if I win it. I'd love it if, it, yeah. if you get the chance to gain something like that. Mm. I'd love it. It's, just, it's like the, the plaque what I've got in Sheffield. All the Sheffield yeah. boxes, I'm the one with the plaque in the legend plaque. The little statue thing is so that obviously fantastic it's like but all the for all the fame for getting it if i got i got it it'd be brilliant yeah but you're not gonna lose any sleep if you I don't are you? Sleep, no. but this yeah. boxing's always had its favorites yeah, it's always, yeah had we its, know, don't we? it's always had its favorites i don't think skinny boy from sheffield will want it <laughs> <laughs> i'm not bothered about it don't yeah you? well what you achieved i think is fantastic yeah. and i'm proud of you so <laughs> I do think it was, like, it was a good era. I don't do like the era. It was good European level as well. Mm, yeah, yeah, then, yeah. I mean, European guys then would be world champions now, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, they, they used to go for the European first, so the European were quite competitive. You don't really see many kids going for European level no more. They just they'll go for like. British start, and then, British, then, then yeah. they get straight to world title fights. And then they get beat, and then they bring them back, don't yeah. they? Recycle it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's like a there's a gap that needs to be bridged, isn't there? Yeah. I think you know from British to world. Whereas when you got beat at world, you'd already been a European yeah. champion. You didn't have that much regrouping to do, yeah. did you? Yeah. Whereas nowadays, the, like Lee Perry fought Devin Alexander, didn't he, in America? Yeah. But he went from British that, champion yeah. straight to that. And I think the gap was too big. It's a bit, bit same with Rocky Fielding when when he were like, I do. I, I don't know if he's. I, a few things people always say about boxing, it, it, what, you, what you're more proud of. What I most think I'm proud of, I only went down twice. Yeah. One were against Delisle, one were against Clough, uh, Clemenson. Yeah. And I never went down with body shot, ever. Yeah. Even though I got caught with, because I'm six foot two, where, where were we going to go for? He went for my body. Roy Jones. I got caught loads of times to body by these fight. I do see that a lot of kids now just drop down. Yeah. I'd only say it's best to get taken in, but I got winded a few times, but man, I, I didn't want to go down. Yeah. I was too proud to go down. Mm. And you see him, you don't see a lot drop by. Do you think it's the, in the training that they're doing, Clinton, or in the mental I don't, I don't uh, psyche? Like, I don't, sometimes you just to get caught. I know people say, well, yeah, I'll be got caught on his ribs, but sometimes you can just, oh, you just chuck up and you just bite on your gum you shield. You just bite on your gum shield. Plenty of times I had to bite on my gum shield. Mm. Um, well, like I said, I don't know, boxing, is, it's, it has changed a bit. Some mm -hmm. great fights, I, I do prefer mm -hmm. the, the smaller guys. Everybody's an ugly shite about them. Yeah. Uh, all arguing about who's going to fight each other. Uh, I think the the, the, the um, welterweights and the uh, light middleweights, mm -hmm. I think that, I don't really like them fights. Mm. What do you think about boxing in area at the moment then, Clinton, South Yorkshire? How do, how do you think it's going at the moment? What do you think is going to happen with Kyle Brook? Do you think he'll fight on? 
Kill Brook, he's fighting a couple of weeks, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, 8th of February, yeah. Uh, like I said, I don't really read up, but I don't yeah. know the guy who's fighting. Um, Kell Brook's a top fighter, but I don't believe he's... Past his best, he's yeah. He's probably past his best. That's why they probably, they probably banking on the Khan. <laughs> if the Khan Brook fight happens, it's an absolute disaster for the boxing. Because oh. that fight should have happened five years ago. And I do believe, I think, I do believe that I think the fight will slap him. Yeah, yeah, the same. They're saying, that, they're saying it's going to happen this Christmas, aren't they? It is, if that happens, it is. Whoever pays for that fight, you know. 25 quid on Sky. Yeah, no, it is. I know it is, but it's, this should have happened five years ago. Well, they were the talking about it nine years ago, weren't they? When he's, mm. he's been with Eddie ten years now, mm. aren't they? They're talking it's the, about it. It's the ticket, isn't it? It's, it's all about, I know when people talk about it, it's all about the money. Mm. But sometimes it is a bit a bit more like... Do you think if they do uh, Brooke against Khan this year, end of year, and Tyson Fury, Joshua in Saudi, not England, do you think it might just be being too greedy and overkilling sport for British fans? Yeah, I think so. Do you think? I think so, yeah. I think the, uh, the Fury... Joshua, yeah. Fury, jo it's Fury fought for Joshua. Yeah. Should be in West, should be, should be in London, shouldn't it? Or Wembley. Two? Wembley, yeah, oh, Wembley, 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 yeah, yeah, something like that. Instead uh, of Saudi or Saudi. Money talks, it's, it's yeah. And everybody says, like I say, everybody says it's, a it's, it's about the money. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes they can, we can be setting up the next generations and next generations of. Mm. Fight of family, can't we? Yeah, yeah. But I think they should think about the fans myself. They should do, but I don't think they are. I don't no. think they will. Uh, no. Will you be tuning in if they fight in Saudi for really, that? Not really. Uh, probably are. Yeah. That'll be 30 quid, won't yeah, it? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd watch it on me. Uh, I'd watch it on <laughs> <laughs> You'd watch it on your telly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But other than that, Clinton, you're happy with what you've achieved? Yeah, I'm happy with what I've achieved, yeah. yeah. My well, life's good, my life's good. You're like, you've got a good life here, haven't you? I've been with, been with wife 20, about 25 years. 25 years with Mrs. You're a granddad now, aren't you? Granddad, got three kids, got two, I've got a grandkid. Yeah, yeah. Um, You've got your, your business, your gym, you, you know, right. mess about with your properties and that. You're happy with your lot, aren't you? Yeah, I'm doing all right. You now. got out with all your brains intact. Oh, you that's made what's, it, you, some of them said that, but... <laughs> You made a few quid and you're happy, aren't you, Clinton? You could have made more, couldn't you? Yeah, could have made well, less. Listen, everybody I know have got plenty of money, they all fall out of the money anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, money's the root of all evil. <laughs> yeah, but you're happy, aren't you? I'm all right, yeah. Well, so. Clinton Woods... You're on Boxing Royal. Nice one. Thank Cheers. you very much. Nice one, buddy. Nice to meet you. Nice Thanks nice for having me up. Nice one. Brilliant.